Hello friends and welcome back to the lemonade stand or welcome if you are new. My name is Brianna. I am a certified personal trainer, a big huge biology nerd and a registered dietitian to be. Today's video is another episode of Brianna Tries. And today Brianna is trying a booty sprout, the glute growing apparatus that is taking social media by storm. Before we proceed, if you love science-based health, wellness, and fitness education with some lols and some dry sarcasm along the way, hit that subscribe button and join the Lemonade Stand. I would really appreciate it. Shop my merch store for Lemonade Stand gear and visit my website to check out my exercise guys. Without any further babble, Let's make lemonade. So as I just mentioned in the intro, today I will be trying a booty sprout. Well, not today, but we're gonna like order it today and then like over a series of days or possibly weeks for me, I'm gonna try booty sprout. I guess for, for you, the video will be today. Okay, what is a booty sprout? Well, in case you've been living under a rock this whole time, allow me to explain it to you. The booty sprout is a piece of fitness equipment that you may have seen floating across social media, especially if you spend a lot of time in the fitness space of social media. The biggest draws for the booty sprout have to be the fact that it is very lightweight and only 26 pounds and it folds up easily for easy transportation. And obviously the primary reason is that it's an excellent way or purported to be an excellent excellent way to do glute isolation training at home without the need for heavy equipment such as barbells or weight plates. The key exercises that the booty sprout allows you to perform is hip thrusts or glute thrusts. You may also hear them called. Hip thrusts are an excellent glute isolation exercise to develop and grow the gluteus maximus, the largest of all three glute muscles. A thrusting for me is a must at least one time a week. I have two leg days a week and I always, uh, I try to make it a goal to do glute thrusts um, at least one time on at least one of those legs days and every week I try to challenge myself and go a little bit heavier every time. The problem though is that hip thrusts usually require kind of a lot of equipment that most people don't always have at home. Especially in the age of a global pandemic when a lot of people are relinquishing their gym memberships and opting to train at home instead. And the booty sprout is purported to essentially be a solution to this problem. Um, I first mentioned the booty sprout a couple months ago in a YouTube video in which I reacted to social media fitness gimmicky equipment. Now not all the equipment in that video was uh, like crazy or gimmicky, in my opinion anyway. I thought some of it was useful. The booty sprout was one piece of equipment that I actually personally found useful and um, I was really intrigued by it. And I mentioned in the video that I might wanna try it and I said to you guys, hey, if you guys would be interested in maybe drop a comment, let me know if you'd be down to see something like that. And the answer from so many of you in the comments was a resounding yes, so here we are. So I guess the first step of me trying a booty sprout would be for for me to buy a booty sprout. So let's go shopping. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm gonna record my screen here now for you guys. Don't worry, I took off all the NSFW stuff that I have on my homepage. Not that I have a ton of it. Okay, so just to check out some stuff, let's go to Amazon. You guys can kind of see a little bit of the stuff that I've been shopping lately on Amazon. Don't judge. So let me just type in booty booty sprout i'm starting at amazon because i just want to see if it's on amazon and like if amazon has anything that's like equivalent to it so that's why we're starting at amazon okay port oh my god this says okay this first one that i'm seeing is sean lee core uh it's sponsored and it says protable deep squat machine and hip thrust machine is that supposed to say protable? I wonder if that's supposed to say portable. I don't think protable is a word. I'm pretty sure they mean portable. Oh, that's not a great look. You guys want $170, you can't even spell portable right. Ugh. Okay, scrolling down. Okay, look, see, so here's the booty spread right here. So it looks like on Amazon, um, it's got 4.1 out of 5 stars and it is about $260 on Amazon. And then this one right next to it says it's called the Fit Clinic Hip Thrust Machine. Um, hip pad, so it looks like it comes with, this thing looks almost exactly like the Booty Sprout. It's a teeny bit more expensive. Um, I think on the actual Booty Sprout website, the Booty Sprout is like 170 So this um, one is a teeny bit more expensive. Um, it looks looks pretty comparable to it. That is that is just me, just based off of me looking at it really quick. Oh, there's a girl in some colorful leggings that are making her butt look fantastic. 
Oh, they have a glute workout kickback strap. You know what? I've actually, I've been needing another one of those. I hate the ones that my gym has. I'm just going to open that in the new tab and I'm just going to save it for later. All right. I saw what Amazon had. So I'm just going to go to Google now and let's just type in booty sprout. Um, oh, here's something. This is just a little FYI. When I was looking for the booty sprout, like on Amazon, all I just typed in was a uh, booty sprout glute trainer, but something else that came up at some point, I think. Um, and I saw like some, some, this search come up in like keywords for searching for this thing. And that was a uh, butt training. And this is just a, just a friendly word of advice for me to you. If you are interested in looking for a glute training machine, such as the booty sprout, um, my advice to you would be to don't go to Google and just type in butt training and nothing else. Uh, because that might yield some results that are, should I say, not safe for work. And if you have a child looking over your shoulder when you search for butt training, then you will probably have to spend the remainder of your evening uh, explaining certain things to them. So just a word of advice. Okay, so here's bootysprout.com. Here it is right here. Yep, bootysprout.com. Here it is. Oh, look, they're in stock. Oh, goody. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. High resistance at home glute training. There's some videos. Oh, I love the floor in this girl's house. Oh, that's a cute carpet. Neat. Okay, well, let's just go back up and let's click. Um, if I go to buy, will it? Okay, yeah, so it'll take me to the products. Now, I have talked, like I said, I have talked a little bit about the Booty Sprout before, um, but in case you missed that video, I really just talked about it a little bit. I really just hit on some key points about it. So um, it looks like here, here's the Booty Sprout right up here. Wow. Wow. So it looks like it's got five stars. Oh, 4.9 rating. That's still really freaking good. On 1,174 votes, that's... That's fan freaking tastic. And then right next to it for $14, they have an extra 45 pound resistance band. And then they have a 70 pound resistance band for 16. And then at the bottom here, it looks like they have a replacement foam backrest for $15. That's kind of, that can be handy, I bet, because uh, I bet the backrest thing that's on it probably at some point, I mean, it can get kind of worn down. Oh, the husband's calling. Did you do your homework? Do my homework. Yeah you're in like high school babe what do you want that high school comment was a dig at me because whenever i wear this wig he thinks i look like a little kid i don't think i look like a little kid where were we okay so we're shopping for a booty sprout right now okay so here it is 169 and like i said it is a little bit uh less expensive than that one on amazon that looked pretty much like the same thing that one on amazon that we saw was 179 um and it's 169 here in oh three business days okay booty sprout is the easiest safest and most effective way to perform high resistance hip thrusts <laughs> well we'll see about that booty sprout comes with one machine with nbr foam backrest three resistance bands oh and they're 45 pounds each and then one neoprene sleeve no assembly required okay 100 percent money back guarantee 30 day return policy thank you for your support it works as advertised well i certainly hope so oh i get to pick the color so here's black and then white. I think I like how the white one looks. I'm gonna hit add to cart. Oh look, Honey found two coupons for me. Let's see if Honey can apply these coupons. Uh, this video is not sponsored, but if Honey ever wanted to sponsor me, I'd be down for that because um, I actually use Honey frequently. Oh, holy crap. Honey got me $20 off. You're saving $20. <laughs> Continue to check out, wow. You know, what's funny is I, you, if you're a regular YouTube viewer, then you've probably seen YouTubers, uh, like being sponsored by honey. And I actually got like, I actually installed honey because of another YouTuber who I, um, used to watch a lot. I don't, I still watch her occasionally, but just not as much anymore. Uh, her name is Hope Scope. She is the cutest thing. She is just the queen of like all things fitness fashion. And it's just funny because Honey is like what, something that you often see advertised by YouTubers and they're not sponsoring this video. They might as well, cause I just used it and got $20 off. Thank you, Honey. Uh, my code was Katrina20. Don't know who Katrina is, but thank you. Putting in my contact information. You all avert your eyes. I don't want you guys seeing this. I don't want any of you stalking me. Oh, they sent me a code. Well, wait a second. I gotta put in my... 
I have to put in my other card. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hope you all are averting your gaze. I don't want you seeing any of my, my stuff and stealing all of my millions of dollars that I have. Because I do totally have millions of dollars. Because I am an elite level person at the top of a not pyramid. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> What the hell? $15 shipping? Okay, so it basically took like $5 off. I mean, I guess that's something. I can't be that mad at that. Like my subtotal, $169 even. I found that $20, honey, honey found that $20 discount for me. And then I got $15 shipping. So the grand total for this thing is $164. So uh, sounds good. So let's hit pay now and pay for this thing. Thank you, Brianna. Oh, you're welcome. You are so welcome. Yep, look at that. I just got the email on my phone. Oh, I'm excited. So I have purchased my booty sprout. They promised three day shipping. So I expect to get it in like three days time. I'm really excited to try this thing. So next time you guys see me, I will A, be wearing something different. And um, I guess I'll also have to do an unboxing too. Oh, I never thought I would do that on my YouTube channel. I'll be giving you my initial thoughts based on what I see in the unboxing. And uh, I'll probably take you guys on a workout and give you guys a little bit of a workout. And also I might have different hair, so don't get scared. All right, so I will see you guys when I get my booty sprout. Look what got here today. My booty sprout has arrived today. It's already entered the door and pulled it in. The box is really big. It's bigger than I expected. So now we're gonna do our official unboxing. It's so dark in here right now because me and I are watching spooky movies because this Halloween weekend, isn't it, babe? Yes. Yes. Here it is. So right off the bat, I'm already a little dissatisfied. I don't know if this is so much the company's fault or who delivered this, FedEx? I think it was yeah. FedEx. This thing is like, there's a massive hole in it, first of all. This friggin' hole. And then this is like, somebody already opened this, basically. I mean, I'm sure no one like opened it intentionally, but it's like, it's already open. Come on. This is a really big box. There's Onyx for scale. Let me feel it. Oh, this feels heavy too. This is kind of heavy. Do I have to carry it up the stairs by myself? No. Or are you going to help me? Help you. Are you going to use your big man muscles and do it for me? No. Thank you. <laughs> this is a pretty big battle. It is. In it. All right, to my office. Lighting is much better upstairs. Careful, Zeus is like right on your tail. Oh. Babe, careful my oh. booty sprouts in there. All right. Yeah. As you can tell, she has her notes. Start client plans early. A counseling project for and plus M530, and of course, as always, this is NHM. Boo boo and to BB. I don't need to be reminded to do that, babe. This thing is like basically already open, so I'm gonna really need these. Oh, there's lots of styrofoam. Big box for that? Yeah, this is. I was expecting this thing to be way smaller. I thought this thing was supposed to be like portable. This is huge. Okay, what's this? I guess I'll take the plastic off. This thing is huge and heavy. I thought this thing said that it weighed 26 pounds or whatever I said a few minutes ago before you're watching this part. just like this actually it does feel like it's probably in the 20 pound 25 30 pound range whatever it said yeah this feels like it could be like 25 or whatever pounds okay this is 
Oh, this is really thick. So this, I presume, is the, the hip pad where I put the bands, like where I'm sitting the bands across my lap. Oh, this is super thick. Oh, wow. These instructions, wow, here's English. This is, this looks like Russian. Oh man, these instructions come in like 50 different languages. That's pretty cool. Is one of the languages Portuguese? Probably. There's. Yes, the Portuguese is right here. <laughs> All right, we need them in English. Place booties spread on a flat surface with a wood footrest touching the surface. Unfold the foam backrest until it clicks into place. Okay, just pull it up. Okay, it's clicked. Uh, with left hand, pull the spring-loaded pin located on the side of the base frame and keep it pulled. Okay, this is step two. Where's step three? Oh, step three is right here. Can we pull it out? Oh yeah, I'm pulling it out. Okay, I get it, I get it. So I gotta pull this out. Oh. And uh, this right here, what we're doing is step four. And then uh, step five. Oh, I gotta pull it. So I gotta pull this out again. Okay, now it's locked. Okay. Um, okay, that's it. Please use as directed. Place upper middle of back of the foam back. Upper middle of back. Oh, of my back. On the foam backrest. Clip in the resistance bands on each handle over your lap. Place feet flat on wood rest. At the top of your thrust, your lower leg should be perpendicular to the ground. Adjust feet position accordingly. Well, I guess we're going to try this thing now. Really? I don't remember. I think these are each 45 pounds. 45 pound resistance. Yeah, they all feel about the same. So. Okay, here's my first initial thrust with my booty sprout. Thrust away. <laughs> Stop. It's pretty light, but I am only using 45 pounds. Okay, this is comfortable. Oh, you know, oh, see? I do like this, but right off, I gotta say, I need to be wearing shoes. Because unless I, like, let my feet stop right here on the edge while I'm doing it, then they'll slide. So I need to be wearing shoes. I'm so obsessed with wearing shoes while I train. Oh yes. I can feel my booty sprouting. Wanna try? Right on. <laughs> All right. Ah. So you're doing the same thing I was doing with your feet? Yeah. Like you don't have them? Like I guess you don't. Are you, does it feel like your feet might slip forward though? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can fix that though, just wear shoes. Or even, I mean, potentially do barefoot and then your feet can grip the, the platform. Like, this will get me really well prepared for the club. What? On the weekend. I think it's too light. Well, yeah, that's only on the, uh, 45 pounds. So it came with three oh. and all. Oh. Oh. Stop oh. it! Well, that was our initial, um, I guess I just did my first unboxing on my ah. channel. That's pretty, pretty cool. Ah. Ah. Are you curling with oh, it? Yeah. He's curling with it. Uh, curls. Is it working? Kind of, actually. <laughs> okay, well, I guess uh, these next several after ah. this. I guess the next thing you're about to see ah. is uh, I will probably yeah, yeah, yeah. do a workout. Yeah with it yeah. maybe take it to the gym i gotta say this thing is big bigger than i expected it to be like it looks smaller on instagram in like on i don't know like on the computer on my phone it looks smaller every advertisement i've seen it just looks so small so this is actually this is it's bigger than i thought it was gonna be you can probably do like chest press with it too how would you do chest press with this <sighs> maybe Oh, shit. Here we go. Honey, the instructions say to use it as directed. Who listens not... to rules, man? See, because you can probably, maybe some like, like that. That seems that's like. Tricep, that's like skull crushers. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. 
<laughs> okay, you're not using this as directed right now, though. But I am getting a sick chest pump. Really? That's all that really matters. Okay. In the end. We can see up your shorts. <laughs> Enjoy the show, ladies. Yeah, I don't know if I recommend that. Or you, you can kind of do. What? You can do a lot with this. What? You can do things. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, ah. I mean, initially, I think, uh, I mean, it looks like how I expected it to look. It is doing, it did what I expected it to do. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, right off, I I say that it's cool. I gotta get it in the gym and like actually get it. Be careful, baby. And we can be like this. You can work on your hugs. Come here. <laughs> Give me your hugs. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're supposed to use it as directed. That hurt. Why are you mad at me for? You did it. I don't know how portable this is. Um. It's pretty big. I know I already said that like six times, but it's just bigger than I expected it to be. So yeah, uh, I think I think I'm still gonna try and maybe bring it to the gym and um, see what kind of workout I can get on it. All right, I'll see you guys soon. I told you guys I was probably gonna have different hair. Filming this portion right after my parents left. My mommy braided my hair for me while they were here because I am completely helpless and cannot do it myself. So my package came faster than I expected it to, which was cool. Due to shipping delays on like everything around the world right now, I was actually expecting it to take longer than it said, but it actually came a little bit sooner. So that was really cool. Right off the bat, some initial words that I had were, like I said, it's probably, I mean, this probably isn't like Booty Sprout's fault. The box was a little bit damaged. It looked like somebody kicked the hell out of it. And also some of the tape was loose. It looked like somebody tried to open it. I don't know. The Booty Sprout itself, the machine itself is, is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Based on ads and stuff that I've seen on Instagram and Facebook, I thought that it was gonna be a lot smaller and more compact. Virtually no assembly at all, unless you count like hooking the the bands into the little metal loops on the side. So receiving an assembly were easy enough, but now it's time to actually try it. So I mentioned a couple times that I was gonna bring it to the gym with me and like take it for a spin there at the gym. That didn't happen for two reasons. The first reason, the allure of this product is to optimize your at-home glute training routine. So after using a couple brain cells, I figured bringing it from my home to the gym would be kind of counterintuitive to its intended purpose. Even though I actually don't have a ton of space in my house, I figured if I'm gonna to test this thing with its intended purpose of home usage then I should test it at home. The other reason is that this thing is huge and it's an ass pain to lug around. The ads made it seem like it would be so easy to just fold up and bring it to go wherever you are but it really kind of wasn't. It's kind of on the bigger side and unless you're turning it upright to store it, it kind of takes up a lot of space because it's just, it's pretty clunky. On top of that, there's nothing really on it that makes it easy to just pick up and carry around. When researching for this video, I actually came across a YouTube video of somebody named Denver Marcus. He did something really cool and modified the booty sprout and he put a carrying strap on it to make it easier to carry around. I am not really that handy like at all. So if I tried to do what he did, I would probably just break everything. Something else I noticed that he did was he was using a giant rubber band to secure it while carrying it around. And it also looks like he added some like gripping strips to the foot pad, which I assume he probably did to help keep feet from sliding. This guy's a freaking genius. <laughs> Those modifications, I uh, just based on that one video, I didn't watch a ton of this guy's videos, but just based on that one video I watched, he said that he was an in-home personal trainer, um, meaning that he uh, he has clients where he goes to their, he brings his equipment, some of his equipment to their houses and he trains them at their houses. Well, people probably have most of their own equipment, but he probably brings some of his own stuff too. That is my assumption though. So those modifications that he's made um, are probably really beneficial for him being that he has to transport it from place to place. He modified it and made it not only easier, but also safer for him to transport. So now we've arrived to me actually using it. Getting this thing set up to use wasn't hard at all. It unfolds really easily easily and the resistance bands hook on pretty effortlessly. So I remembered from the last time when I was showing you guys how my feet slipped while I was just like wearing socks. So I thought that maybe going barefoot would be a little bit better because since my feet would be bare, I could actually like grip the platform better with my skin, but that didn't work either. <laughs> 
My feet still slid forward, and since I was barefoot, hooking my heels on the edge was actually very uncomfortable, and it was a little bit painful, so I just decided to put some shoes on. So of course the Booty Sprout machine does have an intended usage, and they discourage using it in a way that it is not intended for. Ace. And the reason that they probably say that is probably to prevent people from getting hurt misusing the equipment. Are we crooked? Oh my god. Oh no, not crooked. Anyway, if you have a home gym, it is really important to have versatile equipment. If you're building a home gym, it's actually a very bad investment, in my opinion, to buy a really expensive piece of equipment that only does one thing and you can't use it for anything else. For safety, I still had to stick to the instructions and use the booty sprout for its intended purpose. So I wanted to see what kind of exercises I could do where I was more using the machine to like supplement the workout and not like... In, not like fully involved in the exercise. I, does that make sense? I'll show you guys what I mean. After I did my hip thrusts, I popped up and I did some wall sits, not using the equipment at all, obviously, but something that can be done to add to your booty sprout workout. Then I moved into some Bulgarian split squats. The only component of the booty sprout that I was using was the back pad. So it really wasn't incorporated that much into, um, into the split squats. I was really just using it to I was really just using the back pad to put my foot on something. I wanted to try some non-leg stuff, so I got into a high plank and I did some plank taps and I used the back pad again. It might be a little tough to see because of the angle here in my office is weird, but all I did was get into a high plank and then again, I just used the back pad and was alternating tapping my hands on it. And here is a way that you can use it to stretch your upper body. I actually like to do this with a foam roller, but um, doing it on the back pad of the booty spread actually gave me a deeper stretch. This feels really good on the upper back and delts. Then I got back into my workout for some more leg stuff. And I just did body weight squats. And again, I was using the back pad. I was doing what I would what I would normally call box squats because in the gym, whenever I do them, I do them with a very low step box. But I didn't have one, so I decided to use my booty sprout. I would have liked it to be a little bit lower because that would have given me a wider range of motion and activated my glutes more. But the goal was to use what I had. And what I had was the back pad of my booty sprout. Then to finish, I wanted to try a little bit more glute isolation stuff, see what other glute isolation things I could do with this thing. So I got back down and used it for some single leg glute thrusts or single leg hip thrusts. First, I tried them with just my body weight, uh, had my feet in a figure four there. And then I decided to attach the band and have one leg up. I will say if you do a single leg thrust on this equipment, using more than one or two bands might prove more difficult just because just because angles are weird and then it would really it would it would mess with your range of motion too. After my workout was done, I broke it down, folded it back up and just stored it away. So I did say before that this thing does kind of take up a lot of space. I do think that, but once it's folded up, you could probably fit it pretty well leaning up against a wall or behind a closet or something like that. So there you have it. I tried a booty sprout. I would say overall, I really do like this thing. And the only complaints I have really are kind of just minor. My first complaint is just that thing about my feet were sliding on the pad. But I mean, again, that's that's minor because that can easily be fixed with just putting on shoes. But I think that was something that that um, irked me a little bit because whenever you I see the booty sprout advertised, not always, but a lot of the time, the person demonstrating using it is not wearing shoes. So I was expecting to be able to do it comfortably without shoes on. I know what I always say about wearing shoes um, during a workout, but I'm not holding any heavy weights. So there's no risk of dropping a dumbbell on my toe. And I'm not, I'm not doing anything high impact or jumping around. So not wearing shoes, doing, doing hip thrusts is perfectly safe in my opinion. And then the other complaint I had was just, it was just, bigger than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be smaller and like more portable and easier to carry around and it just, it just wasn't. That's really it. That's really my only uh, complaints, things that I didn't really like that much about it. Will this give you the massive sculpted perky glutes you see on Instagram fitness models? I think the short answer is no. And that is because the primary resistance on this thing comes from resistance bands. And with resistance bands, you can only add so much. To get those big, firm, strong glutes, you really have to be training your glutes hard and heavy. And with the booty sprout machine, you can only progress so much because there's only only, there's only so many bands that you can actually hook on to those little metal uh those little metal hooks there so you are limited as to how much resistance you really can put on it comfortably anyway now they have bands extra bands for sale they have 45 pounds and then they have a they have a heavier band 
I think that they have for sale. Oh goodness, I wanna say it's 75 pounds. The point I'm trying to make is, let, let's say right now there's three bands on this thing. I can probably fit two more, maybe a third one on this little, uh, on this metal, metal side, the little metal loop on the side where you hook the bands. But after you fit three, after you fit five or six 45 pound bands on there and your glute strength and development has gotten to a point where that's that's too easy for you, then what are you gonna do after that? So that's what I mean when I'm saying there's only so much weight you can add by using this thing. Now that being said, is this a good tool to have for your at-home fitness routine? I would say yes. Whether you train at home because you don't have gym access or maybe you just don't wanna to go to the gym, whatever, that's your business. Whatever the reason, you do wanna set yourself up with the best equipment possible so that you can get the most out of your workouts. Now, depending on your individual home gym setup, the Booty Sprout may or may not be a good investment for you. Let me explain on that. The main exercise with the Booty Sprout is the hip thrust. In my opinion, the best apparatus the best equipment to do hip thrusts with are with a free bar and weight plates other fitness professionals might disagree and think there's a better method to do hip thrusts that's just my opinion so a weighted bar and a decent set of weight plates will probably cost significantly more than just the booty sprout machine if you already have a squat rack that has a free bar and a good set of weight plates with it i think buying a booty sprout is kind of a waste of money because you already have an excellent piece of equipment to train your glutes with. Conversely, if you live in a small space or maybe you can't afford to buy a lot of large equipment or you just have minimal equipment at your disposal, then I think buying the booty sprout is a good idea. It can easily be set up in a living room or any small space. And yeah, it probably won't give you those like those crazy firm perky glutes that you see on bodybuilders, but honestly, that's fine. Not everybody wants to look like a bodybuilder. Even though it's probably not gonna build you like the insane muscle mass that you would like it to that you see on Instagram models, I think it's still a great tool for toning and developing your strength. Overall, I would recommend the Booty Sprout to those of you who train at home and slash or have minimal equipment. In conclusion, actually I think I already concluded. Yeah, we did. All right, well, let's, well, we can skip that stuff because I already concluded. Let's skip to the outro. Thank you all very much for uh, making, helping this video happen. And I say thank you to you guys because I wouldn't have made this video if so many of you didn't express interest in me making it on my last video where I was reacting to crazy fitness equipment. Like I predicted in that video, I did actually end up liking this thing. And overall, I do like this thing. So uh, thank you for all your recommendations and suggestions. And uh, yeah, if you liked me, like this video. If you you love me subscribe to my channel for more shenanigans thank you so very much for watching like subscribe shop my merch store visit my website for my fitness guides and i will see you guys in the next one bye last night i was trying to love my zeus i was trying to love you <laughs> and uh it was really my fault that this happened i went to go pick him up and just give him a big fat hug that i know he probably hates and he hey stop it he uh, rears his head back, head butts me right in the freaking mouth with his big, big old pit bull head. And he was getting overexcited because there was like a toy, I think, oh, uh, I think there was a toy across the room and he just wanted his toy and to get away from me to get his freaking toy. So he head butted his mommy, head butted his mommy right in the gums and he made my gum bleed, didn't you? Zeus. You don't even care. You don't even care that she made mommy bleed. Say bye. You say bye. Bye.